2000, I uh, started my first project of being a producer of a movie, and it was through Flora Alda's son, Tony, had written a movie called um, Ghost of a Chance, and I got involved in that and uh, with Scott Bakula and Catherine Morris, and it was a great experience. Jerry Rosenberg is my business partner, and I've known Jerry for, well, my, maybe 20 years, not quite. Uh, he is part of the friendship circle of the Alda family. Uh, my first picture, Force of Impulse, was done in Miami uh, with uh, people that were from Carnegie Mellon, and it starred Robert Alda. After uh, Robert Alda passed away, I became really close friends with his wife, Flora Alda, and she's gone now too, but Jerry and Flora were very, very, very close friends, and so my friendship with Jerry increased at that time. She calls me one day and says, Jerry, you're never gonna believe this, but Second City, the famous improv comedy group in Chicago, has decided that they want to turn the book Mommy Dearest into a musical satire. And she said, I just went to New York, we've worked out the paperwork, they're starting to work on it. So I kept in touch with her through the progress and they were going through some changes there and then they just decided not to follow through with the project. After that, we decided that it would be better to do it as a documentary film. I thought about it for about 10 seconds and said, yes, let's do it. <clears throat> I got back home, we formed the corporation, Mommy Dearest Inc., a Florida corporation, and we got started playing it and putting it together. The first part of it was all about her life with Joan Crawford and being the role, playing the role of Joan Crawford's daughter. You know, she always felt like she was a prop, like it was all for publicity, first to adopt a daughter, and then to adopt a son, and then when she needed more publicity 10 years later, to adopt twins, that would do it, you know? Well, Mommy Dearest was the first book that I wrote, and of course it was um, an international bestseller, for which I am deeply grateful. I have kept Mommy Dearest alive because I really didn't appreciate the movie, and so I have kept it alive in the 20th and the 30th edition, new publications, new information, same core book. But I also am using a lot of the material from my book, Survivor, and another book that I wrote, which is almost a self-help book, called No Safe Place, The Legacy of Family Violence, because I did so much work for um, organizations and uh, uh, communities where we were trying to raise awareness of child abuse and family violence prevention. The law that really amazed me, one of the first ones that was changed after the book Mommy Dearest came out was that at that time in the state of California, it was a misdemeanor to kill your own child. You may get a little bit of community service, you may get 30 days of probation, but it was a misdemeanor. We still have the problem with us. Uh, family violence, child abuse, child pornography, um, the Sandusky case, it, it is still right here in all of our communities. Nobody seems to be truly, truly immune. But therefore, it's really important for each generation to have the information, have a spokesperson, although I'm not an official spokesperson, have a role model, maybe that's the better way to say it, and it helps people to understand that if one person can stand up and survive telling the truth, well, maybe other people can, and I think that's really important. As I've read her books and gotten to know her through the years, and I just feel like this is such an important story to tell, and she's the last arm of telling this story. And once she's gone, unless it is in something like a documentary to be seen or people still reading her books, it won't be told. You know, after all these years, I, I am never sure what people really know about me that is true and what people know about me that they think is true. And so it is important to me to try to make sure that as best I can, without going on some crusade, that the truth 
about me and my life and the relationships that I've had is from me. So it's from the source. <laughs> In that sense, it's really a gift that Jerry has given me to be able to do this at this time of my life and career. It's all about surviving and thriving and that's what she wants people to be able to do and she wants this documentary to be something that people can watch for many years to come. With this documentary she'll be able to travel and still continue to meet people and show it and do a Q&A and uh, just be out there in the world amongst people and be able to help people and, and that's truly her gift in life.